All right, in this video, we're going to look at notifications a little bit more. This is part three, I guess you could say, to notifications. And the request I had for these were to, uh, one, to show the notifications from specific apps only. Um, also dealing with notifications, unread count. Um, well, depending on what app it is, it, sometimes your notifications, if you have like, say, five emails, it might show up in one little part of your notification bar whereas some apps may show a notification for each individual thing you get so that's a little bit more complex and probably more trouble than what it's worth however what i have come up with is a way or what i want to share with you here is a way to get an icon to pop up depending on whether you have a notification from that particular app and for example here um, as you can see up here my notification bar, I have uh, quite a few notifications. I just set these up for testing purposes. So I have uh, a notification in my text messages. I have a notification from my Gmail, a voicemail, a YouTube one, and then some blue mail. So I do use Gmail for certain accounts and blue mail for other accounts. So we have two different email apps here. And um, what we have down here is I have it set up so that if I have a notification up here, then we're going to see an icon. For example, this one right here is for the text message. This one's for blue mail. This one's for Gmail and this one's for YouTube. I don't have them all set up. This is just for me to show you. And what we're also interested in, this is the thing we're going to make. This up here is just for me to get package names so I can determine uh, which package and to determine, uh, do an if statement in KOWP to determine whether that notification count is greater than zero or not. Before we dive too much deeper into this i did get i am getting some requests from the scavenger hunt some of you are asking where can you get the answers from if i i released the scores just last week if you did not get that um any of you can have access to this just go to kowp free stuff that link in any of my descriptions and once you go to there just click on that one right there the craft mass scavenger hunt google forms answers that'll have all the answers to uh, the scavenger hunt now like I said, uh, the request that I did get, um, other things that I, I'm not going to show you in this video, the short text, long text that you can get from various notifications, that varies from app to app as well. So that would be more complex and more than likely what I would show you for a particular app would not work for your app. But I'm pretty sure this right here is going to work quite nicely for pretty much any app that you get a notification from. And what we want to know is the package. So with all that said, let's go ahead and have a look. And I'm just going to not make this full screen because Samsung Side Sync is Samsung Side Sync is still jacked up. Like I, I can type stuff, I can do my shift key and all that stuff just fine, but I can't do it on the actual device. So I may use some text input to show you some of the coding. I don't know. We'll see. Now, notice we got four things down here. I can click on any one of these, or I can go and dismiss a notification. For example. Let me come up here to the voicemail and let me just dismiss this notification. If I can, if it's going to let me slide it off the screen. Yeah. Okay. So I just dismissed that notification and notice, oh, why well, I never set up voicemail to begin with. <laughs> All right. Well, let's look at the YouTube one. How about that? How about I go and I dismiss this YouTube notification? All right. So exiting out, notice the YouTube icon went away. Let me, now this one was the blue mail. Let me come up here and dismiss this blue mail, which is this one right here. Notice I do actually have two of them, but if I dismiss that notification, notice the blue mail icon went away. And what you may now also notice too is that these things are still staying centered because I have them set up in a stack group, a horizontally centered stack group. So we don't see gaps in between them and, and the icons come closer together. And then something else I can do as well is I can click on either one of these or any of those other ones that were showing. I can click on this and this will open my text message app. I'm just going to do that quickly and then exit back out and notice it went away because now I don't have any uh, text message notifications. So again, what's the main goal here? Showing you an icon for a particular app when you have a notification from that app. And I already have it made. This will be shared on KOWP Toots. This can also be made into a widget using K, uh, KWGT because I have everything sitting inside of a component. Again, this stack group here, you don't really need to worry about that. I discussed making that in one of my older notification videos. What we want to make is this uh, component here, and I haven't given it a name. I'm going to call it Notification Icons. Notification icons. Notice I'm not using any capital letters because I can't use the shift key on this phone uh, using Samsung Side Sync right now. 
All right, so notification icons, and then inside of that component that I've called notification icons, I have a stack group, and this is a horizontally centered stack group. And you notice we have one, two, three, four pieces, but yet all we see here is one, because I have each of these pieces that sit inside of this horizontally centered stack group, I have each piece set to a layer visibility. All right, for example, the only one that I have showing right now is my Gmail. So what I have is I've created an overlap group and you want to create an overlap group for each icon that you want to display. So my Gmail, I'm just using a font icon. But what's more important is this overlap group that I had this icon for whatever app that I want, go to its layer and here's the code. So this is where we're going to determine whether we have a notification from a specific app and we're using the package name. Now how can you get the package name? You can Google it or you can uh, use this little testing thing that I have up here. Uh, this is the package name for my Gmail app, com.google.android.gm. So notice it says if that notification p count blah 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 blah, well I got that from right here. It's actually one that's included. So if that thing right there, if it's greater than zero, we always want to see this overlap group that we had that icon in. Otherwise, we want to remove it. Removing it is key if you want your icons to stay centered. And as one of them goes away, you want the other ones to bunch in together. Removing that thing will make that work. Now, don't worry. If you get a notification back from that particular app, it will squeeze it right back in there to where it originally was. But removing it brings them in together. Whereas if you come up here and put a never I think the never will still leave a gap in between there. So remove removes this overlap group, but again, it will bring it back should you get a notification from that app. Now, these other ones that I have up here. So what I'm going to do real quick, you may notice here, let me just save this. Let me go back to the home screen. I'm going to send myself a quick uh, text message. All right, I'm going to send that text message right now. And what we should have is I think it would pop up over here on this side. Let that go through, and as you can see, it is uh, popping up. So I just sent myself a quick text, and bam, the icon popped up. So if I were to either open my text message app, or if I come back up here and I slide this away, when I exit out, that icon's gone. Well, the code works the same. What it really boils down to, well, what it, what it really boils down to, is you getting the package name for the app. So here's my text message. Uh, overlap group and I'm just using a font icon as well for that one as you can see a moment ago but it's layer check out its code if p count if ni p count and this is the package name for my google message app I use google messages but some of you may use the default stock messaging app or whatever y'all use get that package name okay and it's the same code if that's greater than zero we always want to see it otherwise we want to remove it and really what you can do is you can add as many of these as you want right now i have four of them but they're set to go away um, whenever that particular notification count for that particular package when it's not greater than zero it's going to be removed otherwise you're always going to see it and then one more thing to point out to you as well since this is the gmail one i'll just go ahead and kind of uh, show you one more piece here have its little overlap group, the Gmail overlap group, or whichever one you're doing, have it set to launch that app. So when you touch that icon, you can automatically open that app up, and then boom, you can get your notification just like that. So I think this is the better approach, the easier approach, and the quicker approach, where some of us are trying to get notifications right on our custom live wallpaper. We're trying to get all the detailed information. Well... I mean, yeah, that would be nice, but why not just open the app up? That way you can get your quick response. And, you know, there's so much this app can do, but sometimes it gets to where when I'm doing these things and I'm making things on my custom live wallpaper, I'm saying to myself, okay, do I really want to do this on KOWP or do I really want to go to the real app and do something? And this is a prime example. Reading an email, reading a text, checking a voicemail, I want to go into that app and actually get it. Now, you may think different, but that's how um, I'm taking this. And the perk from here is at least still being able to see what app you're getting a notification from. And there you have it. That's uh, part three to notifications where we can get an individual icon based on a specific app that we get a notification from. And that's it for this video. I hope it helped.